Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the English news. Here are the main, main top stories of our editions. Uh, the Prime Minister held a technical meeting on the recognition of the transport sector. On continental news, presidential in Brazil, right wing, uh, the candidate the chair of Bolsonaro wins uh, the, the first round uh, in the presidential uh, campaign. Welcome if you join us uh, on in channel of Djibouti under the chairmanship of the Prime Minister Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed held on Monday uh, this uh, morning uh, the thematic meeting on urban and interurban transport. The meeting uh, took place in the conference room of the Premier brought together several members of the government including the Minister of Interior, uh, the Budget and uh, as well as the Equipment and Transport. Uh, the minister delegated to the decentralization, the secretary general of the government, and the, the chief of staff, uh, the, uh, the prime minister, as well as uh, the uh, secretary general, respectively, uh, of the minister of the presidency in charge of investment, and the minister delegated to decentralization also uh, not worthy in the presence of the mayor and the prefect of the city of Djibouti. Finally, uh, several uh, senior executives, including the director of the economic development of Djibouti, advisor of the prime minister and the minister of the interior were present at this uh, meeting. In this introductory uh, remarks, the prime minister explained the purpose of the meeting that emerged from uh, the various sectoral meetings initiated by the president of the republic last May and whose purpose purpose was to stock uh, the economic and social situation of the country. During uh, this meeting in which the members of the very ministerial department took part and presented their achievement, commitment were made by these to satisfy the essential needs of the citizens and uh, consequently to improve the quality of their living conditions. Before launching the debate uh, on urban and interurban uh, transport, a topic on the agenda, uh, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed made a reminder of the recommendations made during the sectoral initiated by uh, uh, the President of the Republic last May and focus on transportation among these uh, recommendations, the increase of recognitions of the fleet of uh, public transport vehicles, the regulations of uh, the age limit of important uh, second-hand vehicles, the establishment of a professional license, and finally, the introductions of a uh, carbon tax. It's in the light of this recommendation that the Prime Minister invited uh, the Minister of Equipment and Transport to take the floor to expose the action undertaken by his department to meet the expectations of citizens in terms of improving services of the city and uh, reco uh, reorganizations of the urban transport sector and the respect of the road, uh, of the road uh, safety. In his speech, the, the Prime Minister raised the questions of the situation of, of urban and enter urban transport and recall the initiative taken by his department to uh, propose to the member of the government a decree limiting the age condition of important vehicles and decree defend, uh, definitively uh, prohibiting the importance of the minibus uh, in the country. The Minister of Transport added that the President of the Republic has established in this sense of regulatory a framework on the operating life of vehicles in circulations. These texts were enormously approved in the Council of uh, Ministry by the entire government. A transitional period of three months from September has uh, even been fixed before their implementation. However, according to Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa, it's necessary to take into account the situation of cer certain families who derive their uh, major resource from the exploitations of a single minibus and to provide compensation uh, measures in this case as the for the questions on the renewal of uh, the auto automobile share, we have uh, asked uh, the minister continuing the establishment of an electronic register of transport. With uh, the uh, permissions of the prime minister, the minister of uh, transport allowed his uh, transport director to make a short presentation on the issue and importance of the electronic register 
of passenger uh, transport vehicles. Launch of a seminar in Djibouti on the tutorial approach to local development. The uh, tutorial approach to local development, what does it employ and how to improve in Djibouti. This is what will be discussed on October 8 and 9 until 10 of parliamentarians and locally elected by the Euro Euro European Union to the National Assembly of uh, the Djibouti. These three days workshop founded uh, by the UA for the 50,000 uh, euro or nearly uh, 10 million uh, franc Djibouti aims to support the reform of decentralization policy in the Republic of Djibouti. The ambassador of the European Union, Mr. Adam, and the president of the National Assembly, uh, Mr. Mohamed Ali Hamed, opened the workshop before giving the floor to the European expert, George, uh, for a first introduction at about the territorial uh, development. The Minister of Energy for and Natural Resources, in close collaboration with the Institute of Rocophony for Sustainable Development in partnership with the Edna Energy, organized a training a seminar on the economic policy of energy. This seminar aims to equip uh, participants with the knowledge needed to ensure the successful development and implementation of energy policies in their country. This regional training is part of 2000. 50-2080 program for international organization of uh, the Francophonie Interside, integrating uh, the sustainable development goals into regional. Uh, this, I mean, this workshop, uh, which will last uh, from 8 to uh, 9 to October, brought together participating from public administration directly responsible for the energy sector concern and involved in the development specialized public institutions and bodies such as regulatory authorities, research as well as the development agency, rural electrification, energy management agency, environmental and energy companies, non-governmental organization and consumer association working at uh, the energy sector. In addition to Djiboutian actor from the energy sphere, other participation uh, participating uh, from Bena, uh, Cameroon, as well as uh, Togo and Senegal. This training is part of the series of several other formations that have already taken place in Centra, in West Africa, India, Indian and Osh North Africa. In the context of violence against the gender uh, minister of women and the family organized this morning in the main room of the National Union of Women, the restitution workshop implementation of a policy a member and services department on gender based violence. Uh, this workshop has been closed with the, the presence of the Minister of Women and the family, uh, Mrs. Mumina Hamad Hassan, the Secretary General of the National Union of Women, uh, Mrs. Fatuma Mahmoud, and the representative of UNDP and the high responsible in addition to the officials this workshop of the place of services existing on uh, the violence based on gender has seen the part participation of different representatives of the departmental sector and the fourth representative of the order who have been allowed to uh, take part at this workshop. Several points were, were uh, asked to know the different services provided against the violence in women. The uh, Minister of uh, Muslim Affairs and Culture, uh, Mr. Uh, Mumin Hassan Bar, received this morning in his office the Ambassador of the State Kuwait accredit uh, to uh, Djibouti. The Minister discussed with the Kuwait diplomat various issues related to the bilateral relation and in particular the development and cooperation to the various fields that fall within the remit of this minister. The minister reviewed with the ambassador the action taken by the minister to straighten the culture of peace and tolerance and also the promotion of artistic and creative activity. The Kuwait ambassador thanked the minister of the, for the warm welcome extended to him and the idea that have been put forward particularly with regard to promotion of cultural exchange between the two uh, friendly countries. The Kuwaiti diplomat welcomed the progress made by the President of the Republic's Excellency, Mrs. Marla Margile, to achieve the sustainable 
development goals and establish an integrated strategy within the framework of uh, Djibouti uh, 2035 uh, visions. On the other hand, the minister highlighted the voca vocations of Djibouti to highlight its regional geostrategic position serving as a hyphen and important geocultural uh, places for the division of trout and the culture of openness and the tolerance. And now let's move on continental news. Uh, Brazil's uh, far-right uh, Bolsonaro wins first round of presidential elections. Bolsonaro won Sunday's poll with 46% of the vote ahead of left to win AC. In Sao Paulo, Mayor Fernando headed 29%, according to a tweet from the Supreme Electoral Tribunal's official Twitter account. Bolsonaro led in, in a file of 13 candidates, left him just short of the 15% needed to win outright and in a to avoid a run off again is headed from the Workers' Party on October 28. The presidential campaign has been marked by the rise of the Wednesday fringe a populist Bolsonaro, the disqualification of former president who was electorally from jail, and ongoing revelation from the four year long car watch, anti grave prop, a working mainstream political pass in the country of 200 million people. Here we finish the news. Thank you for watching us. Goodbye.